Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Youth News. Today is October the 28th, 2020. And today's video, we are going to talk about Cardano and then give you all the update as to what the trap is going to do in relation to price movement. Now, if this is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate our speech, our simplicity of our price charts, and also us giving you all a heads up as to where the market is headed before it actually gets there. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, just that easy. We are providing valuable content to you in order for you to maintain a profitability and take profit, or as some people would say, grab that bag out of the market before the trap realizes it. Make sure you like the video, share, subscribe, and also join us on all of our other social media platforms. Now, it's been about three days uh, since we did our last video, Cardano, October 25th, 2020. And here you are. You guys can see it on my screen of what we expected the trap to do three days ago. And you guys can see that today we had came and hit that ultimate TP area. 7.54%. See, we're not pulling your legs. We're not trying to shield, FOMO, or even fudge you. This literally was something that everyone could have expected because we did it three days ago. We expected the market to go lower based off what the trap has already laid out for us historically. So 7.54%, another case of which you can actually see that you can actually forecast and predict prices It's done. Let's get rid of it now. So the market already in Cardano was down for almost four and a half percent today. Okay. So that lets you know that what is the trend into the market in Cardano? from a daily perspective this is not rocket science we're in a downtrend every day the market trades in Cardano we've been closing lower than the previous day so we are in a downtrend on a daily time frame okay so don't let no one else tell you different until we see this change occur market hasn't changed yet from that movement we are still seeing weakness in Cardano on a daily basis. Three day chart, same thing. The market here in Cardano is still weak. Now we got a day and 13 hours left on this current three day bar, but my eyes are already focused on this area right here. Okay. We need to see in order for us to really hold consolidation or trading, the trap needs to hold price above 10 cents. Right now, it's not looking like it. But like I told you, we got a day and 13 hours left. So we really can't be too dependent on this current three day price bar because it's not completed. But right now, 10 cents is a very important. It's very important. Next area is around 11. So 11 cents is restriction. Market support needs to be at 10 cents, but the market is failing at that right now. So we are definitely seeing some weakness still in play for Cardano. So we see weakness on the daily time frame. We're seeing weakness on the three day time frame. Let's look at the market on the five day. Has anything changed? The further out in time we go on this price chart, 11 cents become a harder area of restriction. The longer in time we go, and the inability of the trap not able to break above 11 cents continues to cement that we are in a downtrend right now in Cardano. So the trap couldn't break above 11 cents. The trap so far, it's unable to support the market at 10 cents. Those are two strikes already against the trap. We already now see based on those two things that we are leaning to market weakness don't make this complicated don't let your emotions get in the way it is what it is what you see is what you get and you need to play on that so we are already expecting weakness to come out into the market in cardano we're expecting that now it doesn't mean that the market is going to crash or that it's not a long-term buy in the market but we can still see Cardano come down 11% and we'll still be in an uptrend though. Okay. 
So the closer that we are to this ascending line, the better opportunity it is to see the market trap come in and support. Okay. So we got 11% to go and we'll still be in the uptrend. So all these multiple time frames, I don't see any instances of strength coming through. Now, right here on these two weekly time bars, I mean price bars right here. These two right here were opportunities for the trap to show us, to continually give us indications that he wants to increase the price in Cardano. And those two weeks, those 14 consecutive trading days, the marketing Cardano couldn't do it. So we are in weakness. It is what it is. And now the next area of focus for us is at 11. I'm sorry, 10 cents. That's the next area of contention that we need to pay attention to. We need to see the trap hold this 10 cent area as support. And right now, it's not showing itself. So what do you think our forecast is going to be because we're going to give you all the opportunity to tell us what you think too next three days what do you see in the market i think you already know our expectations okay we're going to continue to play some weakness in the market in cardano it is there and it is here. TP between nine and a half, all the way back down to nine cents. Okay. Until we see the trap close price above 10 cents, 10 and a half cents, this market is going to continue to do what it's been doing the last couple of days. Show us weakness. So now it's your turn. Tell me what do you think? You know, this is our forecast. This is what we're expecting the trap to do over the next couple of days. What do you see on your price chart? Now, I don't want you to give me none of that confusing words, all that technical analysis jargon that's pointless and is useless. Where do you see the market headed in the next three days? Where will the price be? Because we got to get in a position. So where is your position? Tell me what your tp is tell me what direction the market is headed all by leaving us a comment in the comment section and that's it now just sit back and let the trap work make sure you maintain a profitability and we'll talk again on our next video